Ukrainian Armed Forces servicemen and national security expert Ivan Vachenko explained the impact of the successful strike on Russia's Nebo-M radar station. One less radar means it's now easier for Ukrainian UAVs to fly over Russia. The Nebo-M is quite a unique system, a radar with a wide range. The Ukrainian forces took out one of the 10 left in Russia and that's a big deal. Even with those remaining stations, they don't have enough. What we're seeing now is a totally porous Russian air defense system, while our UAVs can freely fly to Moscow and beyond, hitting key targets for the Russians. Varchenko said on Espresso TV. He added that these radars are designed to detect incoming aerial threats to Russia early. How many they've lost so far isn't entirely clear. But we know Russia doesn't have many left. They're scattered across Russian territory. So by knocking out another one, 10% of their frontline coverage is gone, giving Ukrainian air systems even more freedom to locate and destroy enemy positions. And every hit like this improves our ability to find and strike such targets with precision. It's possible that more will follow, the officer stated. Recall on October the 3rd, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces announced that Ukrainian missile units had successfully destroyed a Russian Nebo-M radar using ATA CMS ballistic missiles. Ukrainian military expert Alexander Kovalenko said that Nebo-M is one of the most modern radar stations in Russia. On average, its cost is somewhere around $100 million. Therefore, this is quite significant, even financial damage for the Russian army. They are not produced quickly, slowly, because they contain a large number of elements of Western production. As is known, it is difficult for Russia to obtain them now. These are exclusively contraband supplies, the expert said on air of Radio NV. He noted that such Russian radars are difficult to detect since they use a stealth mode of invisibility providing echeloned air defense, an air defense system with all the necessary information about threats in the sky. They notice both ballistic and subsonic supersonic targets, cruise missiles. Therefore, its destruction is a serious blow, firstly, to this component, 
Secondly, to the capabilities of Russian air defense in the relevant area to effectively monitor the airspace and, of course, also financial damage, Kovalenko added.